unique strategic location at the heart of Lusail City and nearby Lusail Stadium, which will host the opening and final games of the Qatar World Cup 2022, Lusail Plaza Towers will dominate the horizon of Lusail Seafront. The project consists of two sets of twin towers based on four symmetrical linear podiums. Both seaside plots consist of five buildings, two five-story blocks, two four-story blocks, and a 70 stories high tower, while the landside plots comprise four buildings, two five-story blocks, one six stories block, and a 50 stories high tower. Underneath these blocks, there are four to five levels of basement. Immediately upon award, we will commence mobilization, establishing our site logistics, including temporary fences and site gates, material hoist and labor's access staircases, whilst design, development, engineering, and procurement will also be underway. In parallel, we will take over the supervision of the early works package, Novated Contractor, to ensure that construction of the main works can start by day 31. The construction works will be carried out in parallel for all plots, but run separately by four different teams. For the seaside plots, the core of the towers shall start by day 31, while the construction of zones 1 and 4 shall commence by day 102. Meanwhile, zones 2 and 3 will be utilized for logistic support. As soon as zones 1 and 4 reach basement 1 level, the construction work of zone 2 shall commence. When zones 1 and 4 reach ground floor level and zone 2 is at basement 1 level, the material hoist and labor staircases shall be removed and construction works to zone 3 shall start. By utilizing the same construction methodology, landside plots will also start simultaneously with seaside plots, where the 50 stories tower will start on day 33 and zone 1 and 3 will start by day 102. Podium 2 area will be used for logistic support and will start by day 187 when Zone 1 reaches Basement 1 slab level. The podium's facade cladding will start by day 368 and shall be completed for all podiums by day 715. By day 142, the tower's slabs will reach the ground level and the tower's cores shall be on the sixth floor by day 156. Three levels of steel structure shall be erected and their associated slabs will be cast. While the core will keep rising, the steel structure will keep following it with a gap of three floors. Once the structure has reached the 14th floor, a protection platform will be installed at level 12 to enable the commencement of the facade up to level 10 which will be completed by day 365 and achieve the milestone. This process will be repeated every 10 floors. Core construction works will continue until we reach floor 24, when three stories high outrigger will be installed. The core will then recommence and remain three levels above the steel structure and six levels above the slabs, until we reach level 44, where another outrigger will be installed. The core and slabs will continue to rise with the facade cladding following until we complete the superstructure and elevations by day 871. In parallel, the landside towers will be constructed with the core being three levels ahead of the slabs. As soon as the core reaches the 24th floor, a concrete outrigger will be constructed to allow the construction of the core and slabs to continue while the facade works will be carried out with the same methodology as that used on the seaside towers to complete the superstructure and elevations by day 871. The infrastructure works shall start on day 538 and will be followed by landscape works which will continue until the end of the project. By day 216, internal finishes and MEP work will start for all towers. While the internal finishes and MEP works in all podiums will start by day 287.
all operation tests, including snagging, will be completed by day 931, with a high level of professionalism to suit the importance of the Lusail new landmark.